Hello everyone, welcome to another at-home science activity with Supernova. Today we are going to be playing around with some transition metals that you can find at home in the form of copper pennies and an iron nail. And we're going to use some acetic acid to break down the copper and cause it to plate the iron nail. This is a really simple experiment that can be done at home, so let's get right into it. The materials you will need for this experiment are some paper towel, some vinegar, some salt, stirring rod, a mixing bowl, a galvanized and a non-galvanized nail, and some old tarnished copper pennies. The first step of this experiment is to add your copper pennies to your bowl, followed by some vinegar and add enough to cover them just a little bit. Then you're going to want to sprinkle a good amount of salt in there as well. Once these materials have been added to your bowl, you can go ahead and give that a good stir and keep stirring until you notice your pennies become very shiny. Once those pennies are looking nice and clean and shiny, you're going to want to remove them and throw them on some paper towel. Make sure the pennies are nice and spaced out and you actually don't dry them off, you just set them on the paper towel. The reason we mix those pennies around in the vinegar is because the acetic acid that's in vinegar will dissolve some of the copper that's on the pennies, leaving positively charged copper ions floating around in the solution. Our next step is to add our nail into our vinegar solution. I'm going to add the ungalvanized nail as well as a galvanized nail to show the difference. So similar to how the acetic acid dissolves some of the copper that was on the pennies, it's also going to dissolve some of the iron that's on the nail. This is going to cause positive iron ions to float around in the solution and leave a negative charge on the nail, which the positive copper ions are going to be attracted to and then plate onto. The next step is to leave your pennies on the paper towel and your nail in the vinegar for a long period of time. The longer you leave them, the better the reaction will be, and I recommend leaving them for about 24 hours. You may notice some bubbling on the surface of your nail, and this is because there are a lot of hydrogen ions present in acids like vinegar, and they are collecting around the surface of the nail and creating hydrogen gas. So it's been about 24 hours since I put these nails in the acid solution. I did take the non-galvanized nail out for a little bit just to examine it, but with both nails we can see that the copper plated onto it. With the galvanized nail, we actually see that the outer layer broke off and dissolved in the acid solution, which is what all this debris is in the bottom. Just for a fun little side experiment, I also did this with a screw and the copper plated onto that as well. If we take a look at the pennies that we left on the paper towel overnight, we'll see that this green verdigris or patina actually grew over them, which happens when copper is weathered. The acid solution that we soaked them in actually sped up this weathering, which is why they look green now. Just for fun, I took some of the copper pennies that we had in the acid solution, I rinsed them off and then dried them instead of allowing them to air dry with the vinegar solution on them, and we see that they actually didn't grow the green pigment, but instead stayed nice and shiny. I hope you all enjoyed this experiment. Just to recap what we did, we created an acid solution using vinegar and salt, which broke down the copper and iron on the surface of our materials. This created positively charged ions that were floating around in our solution, which then were attracted to the negative surface of the nail, creating a copper plating. I encourage you all to try this at home and experiment with a variety of materials, different coins, different nails, different screws, and see what happens. Be sure to have fun with it. Thanks for tuning in to another at home.